So in my individual capacity, I can tell it to you, the okay, era that uh, what you said it is absolutely right. The okay, a lot of those new technologies come up with a lot of buzz, and yes, they have really got a transformative power as well, right? So what needs to be done, the okay, they need to be harnessed pretty well, right? So how do you harness a problem? See, it. Uh, I always say the okay, for every any problem, one has to really kind of start small, think big, grow fast, right? And what it means that you know always keep a north star that okay when you are adopting any technology any any breakthrough technology incremental revolution or radical revolution you have to really see that okay there is a business value clear business value attached to it there is a cost function attached to it and then if you really keep your north star very clearly glued then you know that okay you can really harness that particular technology i'll tell you in terms of gen ai i'll tell you in terms of uh, you know computer vision when i was leading computer vision in my previous avatar right all what one has to do is to really kind of look uh, you know try a particular problem statement in a very small snippet which is you call it as a proof of concept try with a proof of concept then see the you know that whether you know you iterate it you create a continuous feedback loop mechanism with the user user in the sense that okay you know maybe that uh, in a manufacturing plant the user can be the supply chain guy or can be that customer services agent or can be you know the uh, operators or on the shop floor or uh, it in the in the you know let's say that if you go to the e-commerce and all that it can be eventually the consumer itself and all that right so keep creating a continuous feedback loop and keep iterating that proof of concept that eventually will take a shape of the mvp try with that and then really kind of see that okay what is the value gain which you are taking out of it and all that so after mvp i always say take a pause see the okay are you able to really kind of uh, get a more or, or can you harness more business value out of it or not if you see it has good good leverage go for a large scale implementation now that's about how things should be really kind of contained but when it comes to for any particular organization to drive this kind of adoption of the newer technology i would say everything has to begin with the innovation culture what it means that okay industrialize that technology not by brute force uh, by uh, uh, pushing uh, the adoption of the technology but rather creating a you know bottom up innovation culture and top down innovation culture what it means that okay infuse design thinking approach in their businesses from uh, you know among the those guys who are really kind of working on the ground and then obviously those who are really kind of leading the organization and ask them to really kind of rediscover their problem redefine the problem you know the moment you start rediscovering the problem you redefining your problem you start looking for the okay can i really solve it in an alternative fashion and that's where these ground breaking disruptive technologies really start showing you the light so the first thing has to be you know i would say ai innovate culture that needs to be industrialized then obviously it is about ai industrialization which is about you know adopting technologies of varied form whether you talk about computer vision video analytics generative ai predictive analytics and so on and so forth and all that right the technology will keep evolving howsoever we say generative ai is so very uh, amazing thing but it's still it's part of the uh, you know artificial narrow intelligence it's not even a general intelligence so that means there are newer things which are going to be coming up and all that these all intelligence would really get augmented on the top of let's say digital twin uh, you know more of ar vr like immersive experiences and make things even more smarter more integrated for one and all that so uh second part is the industrialize and third part is always to really kind of look for ai reimagine what it means that okay you know that uh, every company today you know if you look at the howsoever large scale or the mid cap companies are even the small organization they are always they are doing somewhere other with the ai right now they are happy with the way they are doing it because they think that okay they are getting the you know the outcome now if you don't reimagine how to really do it in a different fashion you would not be able to unlock the newer outcome that's one two that the same thing which you are able to do it in a you know erstwhile kind of technology and it's taking more time if you really do it with a newer technology what you would find it that okay that can accelerate you know the the whole turn around time so that's where i say ai reimagine so three pillars which i always suggest ai innovate culture that ai first culture second is obviously ai industrialize and third is for the leaders to keep ai reimagined i was just looking for the reinforcement of my own understanding uh, that okay you know what's happening and certainly all the leaders keep looking for uh, feedback mechanism right 
so i get to see that okay that many of the companies uh, are really uh, you know pretty much a bit about gen ai i i have not come across any other leader who has not been talking about gen ai or gen ai pilots right so i i understand that so that was one of the good take away i see that okay you know that uh, leaders are still pretty much skeptical but very a bit about it now the the difference which i see it any new technology which comes up it always comes up with a skepticism it always comes up with pros and cons right that's a true aspect of any particular good change and all that but i see that okay with gen ai the change management is so very relatively to me it looked like it's easier because as i said you that okay most of the guys are more a bit than skeptical and many of the many of the cios whom i've met and i've heard them i see that okay they are very very clear they want to take this up. so this this was my second take away and third is you know i would say that okay pretty uh, a bit energy here uh, the kind of uh, you know the setup uh, you know the welcome uh, the treatment everything is pretty good so i think the team the kudos go to the team uh, they have done it pretty well